some of the out in the lake fishing. That's a little rowboat. So here I am at the summer house. Autumn is coming on. But it's still a nice, lovely, warm day, and I'm going to be grilling some salmon. First, we need our trusty Fisker's axe. It's the X17 to make some kindling to start up the fire. should be enough. trick that my dad over in Scotland taught me it was uh, for making uh, a fire lighter a bit of paper. You take the paper like this and then you begin to fold it nice and thin like that. Folding it over like this. Just keep on folding it over. Because the trouble is, when you light paper, if it's not compact, then it just seems to. to flash up in a flame and it's gone in an instant. Realize when you do it like this, make it into a little sort of concertina like that, then it uh, burns for a longer time. Especially in Scotland where we used to burn coal. You could never get it going if you try to do it just with ordinary bits of paper. But this was the technique of making these little briquettes. And then it worked. So there's my bits of paper and the next thing you need is some kindling to put on top of it and the thinner the kindling the better. And you can put it so that it's going across each other so there's plenty of air spaces. People usually have big lumps of of log and they try to start a fire and it never ever works. it on. I need to get that one going there. Well, it should catch fire and uh, we should have a nice fire in a few minutes. So 
So there we have a side of Norwegian salmon, most likely it's been in the farmed in the sea. But it's too big to put in those folders, so I'll cut it in half. There we go. That's good. And now let's put some salt on it. See that little thing here? Putting the salt on it. If you want to distribute evenly, you just tap it like that and it'll come out nicely. So you don't get it all in one big clump. Just tapping. A little bit of salt on that headpiece and also on the tail. This Kala Malta sells. It's for putting on fish. Let's put a generous dose of that on it. That looks good. And I like this stuff. Chili. Pipuri, pipuri, secotus. It's got salt, sugar, rosemary, paprika, timiami, and uh, walco sipuri, garlic. It's pretty hot, this stuff. I'll put a bit of that amount on it. And finally some rosemary. I like rosemary on fish. That should do. Yeah. Good. That's it. So there it is in all its glory. Just spiced up. And... Uh, waiting to go onto the fire to get grilled. So there are the fish and then I just close this up like that, take them over to the fire and they should be ready to cook. Oh, oh have I lost, I've lost one, no here it is. Yeah. That's them, ready. Well, there they are on the fire, getting grilled. You can turn them over easy. This is, uh, I don't know what you call it in English. <laughs> well, when you look at the edge of it there, when it begins to, you can see it being cooked up uh, on the edge there. Then, then it's time to turn it over. It doesn't matter, usually you do the skin side first and it cooks through. And then once it is cooked almost to the top, you turn it over and brown it on the other side. You see the edges are beginning to turn colour, so it's almost cooked now. Some of the fat is dropping down into the fire. So it's also a good sign as well. But the must be cooking lovely. Soon be ready to turn over. And the fire is just right. Almost charcoal, a little bit of flame, hardly any smoke. And there we have the skin side, which is, it's not burnt, it's called charred. And uh, just looking nice. So we'll give the other side a few minutes to colour up as well, and then it should be ready. Half a side of Norwegian salmon, cooked outside in the open air. So that's them done. I think they're done to perfection.
They smell wonderful. Whole side of Norwegian salmon. Good. And finally a rose water moment for Dave and Halvor. Look at these. I think they're, when they're yellow they're called Black Eye Susans. But uh, put that in an old sauna pot. And there it is, growing up. A rose water moment. Lovely flowers and tons of them still coming out. Yeah. Beauties.